Ah, oh, beautiful day. The Kiapa Little Badger is a superb skeleton rifle. It comes threaded for a suppressor, and you can fold it in half to put it in your backpack. And it even comes with a, eh, a serviceable backpack. But I've got a real problem with the thread protector that comes with it. It's a nylon thread protector, and it's so bad that I don't even, I don't even have it. I threw it away immediately. What you need is a different type of thread protector. It's a hidden cost to owning the Kiapa Little Badger, and that hidden cost is coming up next on Mostly 22 LR. Hey everybody, Rob Rosenberger here for Mostly 22 LR. As I said, the Kiapa Little Badger has a hidden cost, and that is it needs something better than the chintzy nylon thread protector that it ships with. Uh, those nylon threads are going to deteriorate the first time you take it off. Uh, it's just not going to be serviceable in a very short while. So what you need is a different thread protector, and I've got a couple of solutions here. Kiapa threaded the muzzle for the common 1 half by 28 TPI, so the first solution uh, is quite simply an A2 flash hider. Uh, all you do is just simply uh, thread it onto the barrel, and your little flash hider uh, will protect your threads. Uh, one, of, one of the things that I don't like about the flash hider for this bad boy is that it's a folding skeleton rifle. It has a very small footprint. Uh, but if you were to put a flash hider on here, you're really adding some length to that barrel, and I just, I, I don't like it. And let's face it, <laughs> it's overkill to put a flash hider on a 16-inch barrel for a 22 lr But let me show you something else that is simple, cheap, and effective. Okay, so if you follow mostly 22 lr you know that I have three criteria. Simple, cheap, and effective. This thread protector from Infinite Product Solutions meets those three criteria. It is simple, uh, it's cheap, and it's effective. I like it because it's not a hexagonal thread protector. It's a nice rounded one. And it's got some aggressive checkering uh, that helps you put it onto a threaded barrel very easily, especially if you're wearing gloves in the winter. But I have an issue with the Kiapa Little Badger threading. They cut it to AR-15 specs, which is uh, 5 eighths of an inch long, as opposed to what I'll call the uh, rimfire spec, which is 3 eighths of an inch long. And as you see here, uh, this thread protector is only a half an inch in length from Infinite Product Solutions, and I just uh, it's just not long enough. To use this, I'd need a jam nut in order to keep it from uh, uh, losing these threads out here. It's, it needs a jam nut. Ugh. Now, this is not Infinite Product Solutions' fault. Uh, my problem here is that this fits a Ruger Charger takedown and a Marlin XT22RZ. It's not an AR-15 thread protector, and so it's my fault for not inspecting the Kiapa barrel before I ordered for it. And just so that you know, the factory thread protector for a Ruger Charger takedown is 3 eighths of an inch plus 132nd, and the factory uh, protector for a Marlin XT22RZ is 3 eighths of an inch plus 232nd. So this one half inch thread protector from Infinite Product Solutions, if you think about it, it's uh, 3 eighths of an inch plus 432nd, that's if you wanted to look at it that way, and that's more than adequate for rimfire threading. But they don't yet sell an AR-15 uh, spec round thread protector uh, at Infinite Product Solutions. You can get one on Amazon.prime, uh, or Amazon, Amazon.prime, Amazon Prime for about the same price as, uh, the, uh, as this thread protector. Eh, for right now, I'm still using uh, a spare flash hider until more gear lands uh, in my mailbox. I just, I did not expect that this was going to fail. I knew this bad boy was going to fit the Marlin factory threads, but I didn't realize that it just wasn't deep enough for the Kiapa. And whose fault is that? Uh, it's my fault for not remembering the cardinal rule, measure twice, order once. <laughs> So, what have we learned today? Well, we've learned that the Kiapa Little Badger ships with a chintzy nylon thread protector that's not going to help you in the long run. You're going to have to ditch it for a real thread protector, which is a hidden cost to owning this rifle. But make sure you buy an AR-15 thread protector or a flash hider. And, uh, by the way, an AR-15 thread protector would be uh, 5 eighths of an inch plus 132nd. Uh, I didn't do that on the previous order. I didn't buy the right one. So I'm going to have to continue to use my spare flash hider until my next shipment of goodies arrives. I'm Rob Rosenberger for Mostly 22 LR. And remember, 22 LR is real ammunition. Treat it as such.
So I'm sure some people will ask me, well, Rob, what are you going to do with that thread protector that you bought from uh, Infinite Product Solutions? Uh, I'm going to keep it uh, as a spare. Uh, I've got multiple threaded marlins, so if I lose a thread protector while I'm out, if I drop it, uh, I actually have a video about that problem, and that's coming up at a later date. But so it's nice to have a, a spare thread protector. I, I got what I wanted. Infinite Product Solutions sold me a really great product. I just, it just won't fit this rifle. <laughs> Anyway, uh, that's my fault. Again, measure twice, order once.